This is game two of this three-game set. We'll have a traditional doubleheader today. It's your Minnesota Twins taking on your Chicago White Sox. We will have Eric Fetty on the mound for game one. Eric Fetty's been really good. I mean, you're looking at a baseball team that's 41 games under 500, and Eric Fetty is three games over 500. So not what Fetty wanted after that 0-2 start, a leadoff walk, and that'll bring up Carlos Correa. This one shot through the right side for a base hit. Castro around second, he'll get to third easily. As Sheets will get it in, and the Twins have runners at the corners and nobody out. And this one misses outside, ball four, and the bases are loaded. Well, you've tried everything if you're Fetty, and after three batters and 24 pitches, on a day in which you've got a doubleheader, right? You know you've got to get at least 18 innings of baseball from your arms today, and the last thing you want is in game number one, your starting pitcher to get bounced early. Two walks and a single. Not ideal. You're facing a guy now who's 15 for his last 19. Fly ball to shallow center. Charging in is Robert Jr. will make the catch. And all the runners will stay put. So there's the first out of the ball game. Now the veterans switch hitting first baseman. Yeah. And he gets the strikeout for out number two. Went again with the cutter. This one away. And there are two down. And Fetty trying to walk across that tightrope. He's not quite to the end, but he's got two down for Brooks Lee. Shattered bat. The ground ball to Nicky Lopez at second. And they just got him. The White Sox get out of a bases loaded, nobody out jam. What an escape by Eric Fetty. They do not score. Gavin Sheets to lead off the bottom of the second against Bailey Ober. Sheets swings and misses. Ober gets the strikeout. It's his first of the game. Yeah, that's on that changeup that's been such a good pitch for him. A one down that'll bring up Eloy Jimenez. And there's a rocket to center. Margot has it, out number two. A well hit baseball, but right at Manny Margot. Ground ball to short. Correa has it. And the inning is over. One, two, three. Second inning for Bailey Ober. Bottom of the third. Paul DeYoung playing third base for the first time in the big leagues will lead off against Bailey Ober. Paul DeYoung with the fly ball to center field. Margot is there. One down in the bottom of the third. Hit to Castro, takes it on a bounce, gets it over to Santana, two down. And that'll bring up Corey Lee. Swing and a miss from Lee, and another 1-2-3 inning for Bailey Ober. It is amazing what Eric Fetty has been able to do. In that first inning, we saw activity in the bullpen. Bases loaded, nobody out. And now he's starting to cruise in a scoreless ballgame. Two out base hit for Walner, and that'll get Manny Margot to the plate. And a swing and a fly ball out into right center, deep but caught by Luis Robert Jr. Ober is still faced only three batters in each of the first three innings. Been efficient, 10 pitches in the first, 11 in the second, 12 in the third. Pitch down in great shape. Fam rolls it to the right side. Santana to Ober covering first, and there is one out. Now Andrew Vaughn, who hit into that double play, the 5-4-3 double play in the first inning. And the swing and a miss. He did not swing at a ball over the plate. He swung at three balls in the dirt. That's strikeout number three for Bailey Ober. A strike three looking boy on the outside corner. Robert still in the batter's box. Can't believe it. So a couple of strikeouts, four now in the afternoon for Bailey over three up, three down. Two quick outs, and here's Correa, who has two of the three hits in this game, singles in the first and in, again in the third. Line drive into right field. He has three hits, all three hits to right field. Well, he's the only guy that has really figured him out. He, you're right, he just keeps going the other way with it. Here's Larnick now, Larnick with a walk. And a ground out. Called third, right on the outside corner on a cutter. Five Ks for Fetty, two in the inning we're looking. It will be Gavin Sheets leading off for the Chicago White Sox here. Sheets struck out his first time up, now just two for his last 25. Well hit, and there's the first hit of the game for the Sox. Gavin Sheets is digging for two. Here comes the throw from Walner. And Sheets is in there. Evan Sheets with a leadoff double in the fifth inning. The first hit that Bailey Ober has given up to the White Sox. Runner at second, nobody out. Fifth inning, scoreless tie. One of the count to Eloy Jimenez. On the ground, and he'll get through the right side. They're going to hold Sheets at third as Waller got to it quickly. But the first two hits of the ball game for the Sox coming here in the fifth. First and third, no outs. The batter will be Lenin Sosa. And a swing and a miss. 
Ober gets a big strikeout on Lenin Sosa, who swung through strike three. That's the first out, and it's a big one for Ober. So here is DeYoung. DeYoung lifts it high in the air to left. This should score a run. Lownick makes the catch, and Sheets tagging will score from third. And the White Sox strike first, one to nothing here in the fifth. So two up, two down, the batter, Andrew Vaughn, looking for his first hit today. Andrew Vaughn hit well to left center. And it's going to bounce over the wall for a double. Yeah, that fan is happy grabbing a souvenir. Third hit of the game for the Sox. Comes with two outs here in the bottom of the six. So there is an insurance run sitting out in scoring position. This one well hit. Luis Robert Jr. Adios! La Pantera! A two run shot for the Sox and the fireworks going off. Luis Robert got all of that one. That was a fastball that Bailey Ober would like to have back. Tried to get ahead in the count with a fastball, tried to sneak it by him, and Luis Robert was ready for that, jumped all over that pitch. Matt Walner will dig in and lead it off. And a first pitch swing out of Matt Walner. That's steep to right field, and that one is into the bullpen. A home run for Matt Walner, his third homer of the season. Walner with his second hit today. And his second home run in this series, and both have come off leisure. Veteran righty John Brebbia here in the eighth against Carlos Correa. Yeah. Slide piece falling off the table. Gets the strikeout. That was nasty. Nasty slider right there. The slider had a lot of tilt, a lot of horizontal movement. Nasty slider again. Back-to-back -back punch outs for Brebbia. Terrific pitch just off the plate, but it stayed a strike for a long time. <laughs> Over the fastball. Slowly rolling. Brebbia throws it. Well, there was some confusion as who's going to take the ball, and that really disrupted the play. Corey Lee and John Brebbia got to the exact same spot at the exact same time. See right there. I mean, John turns around and Corey's right in his face. And here's Carlos Santana, who's over three. And the first pitch is a pop up on the right side. First baseman Vaughn, about halfway down the line on the grass, he makes the catch, and the inning is over. White Sox have put it all together. Good pitching, good defense, good hitting, and now three more outs needed to get the win. And Michael Kopeck on for the 40th time. 0 no 2 from Kopeck. Yes, sir. Top of the strike zone, and it throws Lee. You get triple digits upstairs, and it's hard to pull the trigger. Check swing, he went. Six pitches, six strikes, and two outs. Twins down to their final out. The 0-2. Check swing, he went. An immaculate inning for Michael Kopech. Nine pitches, all strikes. He strikes out the side, and they beat the Twins for the first time. What a beautiful thing to see at the end of today's performance for the White Sox is Michael Kopech coming out and throwing nothing but strikes.